Hi guys, so this is just a really quick impromptu reading for whoever needs to hear the message the most. Same rules apply as the general reads where if it resonates for you, fantastic. If it doesn't, that's not a problem at all. So this is just a non-specific, uh, non-zodiac dependent read for whoever needs to hear it the most, okay? Okay, so we've got the four of coins, it's Capricorn energy and the Knight of Swords, which is Gemini. So this is someone who was holding back from you, who is rushing back towards you, basically, quite unexpectedly, um, a little bit out of the blue as well. Queen of Wands, uh, they find you very attractive, quite funny. There's something about the way that you smile as well with this Queen of Wands. There's still a lot of attraction here. We've got the devil, that's Capricorn energy. So um, there's there's some kind of, uh, it can be possessiveness. There, there is some type of an addiction here as well. Nine of Cups, that's wish fulfillment, it's Pisces energy. So yeah, this is someone who you were dealing with, who at one point was they could have been your wish fulfillment you're certainly their wish fulfillment and there it is again the devil uh yeah th this is someone who feels quite attached to you very very attracted to you the magician communication making things happen yeah they're trying to make things happen here i'm feeling that they're trying to mend a broken bridge we've got the ace of cups that's water energy um love desire there, there is a love here that spans across time. You've got the Ten of Wands, that's a heavy burden. Right, so th this could well be something that has been unspoken and it's, it's a heavy burden for this individual. Yeah, they're not able to hold back here much longer. Knight of Swords again. This heaviness is what's pushing them forward. There was something here that you were building and it, it didn't work out. There's definitely something here that didn't work out. There's an element here of regret as well. It didn't work out because someone wasn't paying attention with the Hierophant. Someone wasn't learning um, the lesson that they needed to learn. Okay, have you got any more on this? Thank you. Okay, Ace of Wands is fire energy, passion, desire, action. The start of something brand new as well. Okay, the Three of Cups, that's Cancerian energy, a reunion. Temperance is Sagittarian, so patience. Yeah, th there is some kind of reunion here that's on the cards. There's a peace offering as well, I'm seeing. The Four of Wands is Aries energy, uh, one of the most stable cards in Tarot for me as a reader. Marriage, commitment, holidays and the Emperor. Right, okay, Aries again. Judgment is Pluto, uh, so that is Scorpion. The Five of Swords is Aquarian. The Three of Wands is Aries. Can I have one more, please? Thank you. And the Seven of Coins. That's Taurus energy with the Four of Coins as Capricorn. Okay, uh, so what I'm looking at here, just to follow on from everything that I've already said in your pre-shuffle, yes, this is someone who is coming back in towards you. Um, obviously, with this being quite an open read, the Emperor, which is central to this read, that, that could easily be you or it could be them. It's someone who's taking charge. It's someone who is a boss or being the boss. There, there is a commitment here, right? Uh, with a second chance. So you are going to have to make the final judgment call with this individual when they do come back in towards you for this reunion. There, there is definitely a reunion here. The Three of Cups, judgment temperance 
Everything about this read, including your pre-shuffle, indicates someone from your past is 100% coming back in towards you. That there is some kind of missed opportunity here. Something was taken for granted. They were very stingy with their emotions, basically. Uh, they were very withholding, quite withdrawn. They weren't giving giving it to you the way that it was, right? There, there was also, there could have been a lot of assumptions that were made as well, because we did see the tower. Either way, there, there was something that was building and it ended. And since it ended, there hasn't been any communication. You've got communication here that's coming in. There, there is still a passion and a drive here towards you. Mending broken bridges here is screaming really, really loudly uh, with the way that these three of wands are pointing. It's like the crow is using that as a bridge to get across to the other side. So there's something about uh, someone's wings weren't working, so they they weren't free. They, they weren't available to, to fully pursue the connection with you, right? There was definitely, they had their wings clipped by something. So the chances are quite high here with the four of wands and the emperor. The chances are quite high that you would dealing with someone who is already in a committed situation or they were committed to something else like their work or anything, anything else that they were committed to that was stopping them from fully pursuing the connection with you, anything that was stopping them from uh, being open with you basically. There, there is a lot of regret here around that. They're coming back in, however, there is a little bit of a warning here uh, because they're feeling very competitive with the Five of Swords, okay? They've got this drive to win you back. They've got a desire to win you back. They definitely feel attached to you still with that devil energies that was coming out. Um, and the end result is basically planting seeds and growing on them together. Um, this is also a card of you reap what you sow. For the, so for those of you who are not going to be receptive to this potential second chance, you're taking on the opinion that they reap what they sow. Okay, uh, because with that energies being right underneath the judgment card, that there is something quite karmic about this particular connection please bear in mind karmic is not a dirty word all right it literally just means soul lesson and we did see that in your pre-shuffle as well because this individual they weren't getting it right they, they weren't fully understanding of what this connection was. There, there were specific soul lessons that the connection was trying to teach them and they were just not getting it. They weren't growing, they weren't learning, they, they weren't being teachable, okay? And that is why the tower moment happened between you both. They were not learning what they had to learn. They were not ascending. They were too stuck. They were too stubborn, too restricted, and too set in their own ways to see the situation from any other point of view, right? They, they were just too closed off. So what I'm looking at here with your temperance is that there is a careful blend and a careful balance here of, of the energies specifically in them whoever is recognizing themselves as the emperor energy this is basically the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies within the emperor that is being balanced out slowly and carefully right again with this competitive nature that they have, um, I, I would just keep an open mind with that one because they might approach you in a way that is seemingly a little bit too forthright, okay? So it might put you off a bit. Just bear in mind that what I'm seeing here is a really good intention from this individual to, to genuinely build on the situation, reconcile with you first and foremost, and then build on the situation. Uh, that there's something here about work as well with the coins being the last card in the read. So they could well be building up their finances first, or they've been watching you 
uh, taking on a brand new project and you building yourself up and you building up your finances. Uh, so again, take it how it resonates. The bottom line of this read though is that there is someone who is deeply attracted to you. There's definitely a soul connection here and this individual is wanting to mend broken bridges with you. Hidden under there is the three of coins. Um, that is, I think that's Mars in Capricorn energy. So again, yeah, drive, ambition, project building, teamwork, um, building the connection back up together and hidden under there, magician, which we saw that in your pre-shuffle. So this individual has now learned how to be flexible and they've realized the trick to manifesting is to, to literally change with the times okay so you're dealing here with someone who is very fixed or set in their ways all right so whatever the soul lesson is that they refused to learn when you were part of the situation they have now learnt that particular soul lesson and basically they're ready for the next stage the next task right hidden under their king of cups yeah scorpion energy emotionally balanced emotionally secure um no longer being afraid of emotions which i'm feeling was a huge part of the issue here for that individual they quite possibly started to fall in love with you and they became afraid of their own emotions part of their soul lesson was to get back in touch with their true authenticity and to to really feel their emotions and um, so this is someone here who i strongly suspect has had to come through a dark night of the soul in order to get to this stage and the cards are indicating that uh, this november you could well be hearing something from that person and under there the seven of swords yeah see hidden emotions the seven of swords that's Aquarian energy. It's all about the things that are kept hidden. It can be quite a deceitful energy. It can pertain to, to lies. It's also lies through omission as well. Um, so yeah, this individual and the lovers under there, Gemini energy. Yeah, th this individual unexpectedly uh, fell in love with you. They, they couldn't handle the emotions that, that was bringing up. You have definitely been a catalyst for this person because of that spiritual connection. You've been a catalyst for their uh, dark night of the soul. And what I'm seeing is the light at the end of the tunnel here and under their night of wands. Yeah, taking action towards their desire, which is you. Um, they can come across as being a little bit too quick, a little bit too impulsive as well with this Knight of Wands. Okay, so they're, they're still a little bit scattered, but they're definitely taking steps in the right direction here, finally. So some of you can breathe a sigh of relief here. And the Six of Swords under there, yeah, you've, you're coming out of the worst of this particular situation, definitely. Uh, the with these old feathers there, there's been new growth that has allowed this individual to move away from their past. And the, again, ascension, uh, coming out of the worst of, of quite a bad situation. And yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Karma, Destiny, things finally moving in the right direction, moving in the direction that you felt was going to happen. Um, and again, reinforcing that message that there is a strong spiritual connection here between you and this individual. Um, they, they have been lagging quite significantly behind you when it pertains to the spiritual growth, but they're catching up. They're definitely catching up in Queen of Swords. So the last conversation that you might have had with this particular individual uh, might have been not so pleasant with the Queen of Swords. Um, you were just purely defending your own heart, which, you know, you, you're more than within your rights to defend yourself and to defend your emotions. Um, it might be time here for you to start bringing down that wall 
because you definitely do have communication and action coming in towards you so you're gonna prepare prepare yourself um to be receptive all right even though it might still hurt um the things that were said or the things that were done Keep yourself guarded, yes, but be willing to listen. And the fool, the start of a brand new journey. It's showing me with those lotus flowers that you've both been through quite a lot. In fact, your backgrounds you might find are very, very similar as well. Similar sort of histories. Um, brand new beginning, nonetheless. And then the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. Yeah, being receptive. Um, this is a counterpart here with the King and Queen of Cups. It's an unbreakable bond. This situation is coming back around towards you for whoever this is resonating with. Be mindful though, I'm not seeing an apology. Okay, so just uh, keep that in mind. Anything else, please, for this read? Okay, there you go. Dark night of the soul. Life brings new meaning. So, yeah, uh, you've definitely been a catalyst to this individual. They are coming out of their dark night of the soul and they, they're preparing themselves. Uh, what are they going to say to you? How are they going to approach you? There's a full understanding here that if they approach you the same way that they were approaching you in the past with the seven of swords and five of swords and the four of coins energies then they're not going to get anywhere with that they know this they know that they're going to have to be authentic and honest and and from the heart like genuinely from the heart especially with that queen of swords energies um, you're going to be able to see straight through them they're completely aware of this so th there's a lot of um, building themselves up here they've spent a long time pitting themselves back together again in a better way after this dark night of the soul awakened spirit desire to change so yeah they've gone through a lot of changes as have you um, this is they they want to change their old behaviors their old ways and again um, this particular connection has been really enlightening to them in so so many different ways shield your energy look beneath the surface okay so it's time here for you whoever this is resonating with it's time for you to start decluttering um, your immediate environment. You could uh, declutter your energies as well through saging and um, making sure that you're not holding on to any kind of resentments as well. That's another good way of how to declutter your energies. All right. And divine will, let go of fear. So yeah, th th this has been divinely orchestrated, this entire connection, right? From beginning to middle to end, this has got divine written all over it and medicine uh, lead by example share your knowledge with others healing um yeah that this has been a healing experience for both of you it's been really really long and difficult journey i'm seeing here um everything coming together the puzzle pieces clicking together nicely it's going to be really interesting to see what comes of this particular situation when your person does come back in towards you definitely keep an open mind here because they have gone through quite a lot um if you're able to see things from their side of the table that would be absolutely amazing and vice versa they need to be able to see things from your side of the table as well under their communication yeah uh, communication is definitely coming in with those butterflies metamorphoses so 
individually you've gone through a lot of changes and together this connection is going through its final transformation through this communication and it's indicating that it is coming in to union don't be afraid to put your boundaries up with this individual though still okay um th this this dark night of the soul it has not been a golden bullet right not by a long shot there is still a long way of the journey to go yet the union is the next stage but what comes after that is the continuation of you maintaining your personal boundaries all right you can love this individual unconditionally without you having to sacrifice your own personal boundaries really really important and divine consciousness mm -hmm. divine awakening opening your mind to new possibilities yeah you've opened up each other's minds here to um spiritualism basically you found healing through this connection it's been a battle and i'm seeing that this read is pertaining to victory so whoever is resonating with this particular read um kudos to you for having done the hard work kudos to your uh, person for also having done the hard work and for coming through the other end of this um really really nice read so yeah i just hope that that was helpful to someone that it's helped to put someone's mind at ease and yeah enjoy the next stage of your spiritual journey i guess <laughs>